Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome to the Friday Funnies. You know, as Charles Dickens once said, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And, and those words really hit home this week. You know, first it was the best of times because now spring is in the air. Yesterday was the Ides of March and nothing bad happened. And tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day when everybody will wear green clothes, drink green beer, and eventually turn green themselves. It was also the worst of times, starting with daylight savings time. I hate daylight savings time, and I will vote for the first candidate to ban it. My clocks do not re need to be reset, and my body clock does not need the disruption. You've heard of alone time? Leave the time alone my message for today. Anyhow, tomorrow we celebrate the life of St. Patrick by drinking to excess. And personally, I think it would be a bigger honor to the saint and more appropriate if we just use that day to drive all the snakes out of the country. And by snakes, I mean politicians. And by out of the country, I mean into the sea. Well, there are no politics for the rest of the Friday Funnies, but please vote for the Friday Funnies for Secretary of State. I hear that slot may be open now. In Yaktux, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Yaktux, Russia, a Nimbus Airlines AN-12 cargo plane took off from the airport with a load of gold, platinum, and diamonds worth $378 million. The valuables belong to the Chukoka Mining and Geological Company. Well, after the plane lifted off, the pilot noticed that somebody left the cargo door open. And soon the gems and the metals fell out of the plane of, uh, like a broken pinata. You know, the goods were scattered over a 16 mile long strip. And I got a question. I can understand the part about leaving a cargo door open. I myself have driven away with the trunk of my car open or a cup of coffee on the, on the roof. What I don't understand is why didn't they put these valuables in boxes? Big, heavy, steel boxes. So if they fell out of the plane, it'd be a lot easier to pick it up. My tip now is that if you live anywhere near Yekturtsk, Russia, take a look around for the best Easter egg hunt ever. Sexual harassment is not a new topic in Hollywood, and according to Sid Luft, who was Judy Garland's husband, it even existed in Oz. In his uh, posthumously uh, published memoir, or soon to be posthumously published, what's the Russ? He's, he's posthumous. Anyhow, Luff said that on the set of The uh, Wizard of Oz, Judy was repeatedly harassed by the munchkins. <laughs> The little people would do things like put their hands up her dress and they thought they could get away with it because they were so small. Judy once said that the munchkins were all drunks who stayed in the same hotel, which by the way is the Culver Hotel in Hollywood. I had a drink there. And they all had sex orgies. And I, I only had a drink there. Anyhow, one munchkin took growth hormones and grew up to become Harvey Weinstein. And there you have the rest of the story. Hey, that's it for another week of funnies, my friends. Unfortunately, no funnies next week. I have to take the week off and uh, go on an adventure. So no funnies next week. We'll be back in two weeks with more funnies. See you then.